moment of truth was upon us. At 7pm we were to play Argentina to decide which team would finish third in the group. The team that finished in third would stay in the fight for promotion to championship division and the team that finished fourth would have to focus their efforts on avoiding relegation to the third division. Argentina had a much stronger team than us on paper. I started against their number two, Pablo Tabachnik, a larger guy with good feeling, good serves and a strong first attack. I really needed to return serve well, preferably aggressively to keep him passive and on the back foot in the rallies. His passive game, so blocking and counter spinning, was less troublesome for me than when he got time to attack. So it was a matter for me to get the first attack of the rally and keep my top spins low and out of harm's way. The quicker I could play and the less time I gave him to react, the better for me. He often tries to take a step backwards in the rally to give himself more time. And the key was to catch him out with quick shots while he was still on his way, moving backwards. Their number one, Liu Song, was ranked 95 in the world, so about 60 places ahead of me on the world ranking, although he was ranked in the 50s not that long ago. He has an unorthodox playing style, with long pimple rubber without sponge on his backhand, fast footwork and a devastating forehand attack. My tactic was to try to be aggressive early in the rally. I tried to find his pimples as soon as possible and failing that, give him as little time as possible to play his big forehand. It was okay for me when he was forced to spin the ball slowly with his forehand, but as soon as he got time to swing, the point was basically over for me. I played well in the first set to win 11-7 and continued almost flawlessly in the second set winning 11-4. My forehand was working really well and I was winning many points with it. I was pivoting quickly in the rally, which would have made my coaches Richard Prouser and Dirk Wagner at the Werner Schlager Academy in Austria very proud. They are always yelling at me several times each day too. Nein, William, don't get stuck with the backhand. You must use the forehand when you can. And I did. I was on the verge of helping Australia to our highest finish at the World Championships in 21 years. I just needed one more set. I continued to play well, leading 7-6 in the third, but he took the next five points to win 11-7. My tactics were similar the whole match. I've done hundreds of hours of training with Fabian Ackerström from Sweden, who uses similar rubber to the Argentinian. So I felt comfortable playing to his long pimples. I needed to try to play to them and find them as often as I could and then attack the next ball strongly. I had been expecting Lu Song to be a little stronger with his pimples, however his chops were tricky at times. On the return of serve he can get the ball swinging and curling through the air. During the rally when he chops at the ball he can get the ball stopping awkwardly on the table. You think it's coming long and you'll be able to keep attacking but then it dips down, forcing you to push, and then he goes in for the attacking kill shot. I worked my way to the lead in the fourth set, going ahead 9-6, just two points away from victory. The momentum swung in his favour, and he won that set 12-10.
I led early in the fifth set, going ahead 7-3 with a fantastic rally. He pegged me back to 7 all, and I remember groaning to myself as he won that last point to even the score. I might slip into a coma and never wake up if I let this chance slip and we went on to lose the team match three games to two. But I've refocused and saved the course. I kept trying to go for my shots and it paid off. I won the fifth set 11-7 and we had done it. It was an immensely satisfying moment after so many near misses in the past. We didn't get back to the hotel until late that night after our match against Argentina. We were scheduled to play England the next day and a victory for our team in that match could see us win the whole group. It didn't quite turn out that way and we went down 3-0. I got outplayed in my match against Lee and Pitchford. He made few mistakes and I always seemed to be just off the pace in whatever I did. I tried hard but couldn't mount a comeback and lost 3-0. We finished third in our group and we progressed to the knockout rounds to stay in the fight for position in championship division. It also meant we were playing for positions 25 to 36. I felt really proud of what their team had achieved so far and we all look forward to the match against Italy the next night.